Well, more now on our top story. Those reports suggesting that the ISIL leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi has been killed in a U.S. raid. Al Jazeera's Osama bin Javed joins us live from San Liurfa. That's near Turkey's border with Syria. Uh, Osama, so what more details are you hearing there about these reports that say the ISIL leader has been killed? Well, Darren, most of these details are coming from unnamed U.S. military sources that a raid was carried out in Idlib province in the northwestern part of Syria, about somewhere between five to six kilometers or under uh, near the Turkey border. Uh, these sources claiming that a joint special operations command force known as JSOC carried out this operation. They had intelligence. They went in. They went into a compound and a person. Uh, detonated himself with the suicide vest. Now, sources in the U.S. military believe that this was Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. This is something that they had been working on for days. This wasn't. That just happened yesterday. It took a long time coming. And it has also been uh, somewhat uh, made uh, more prominent by U.S. President Donald Trump saying that he has a major announcement to make. We've been hearing uh, from various U.S. sources that the uh, defense secretary is going to be making a special appearance. He wasn't scheduled to be on any talk shows today. He's going to be uh, telling the media and the American public about the developments in North Western Syria. Uh, but according to these unnamed U.S. sources, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi has been killed. Now this is waiting for confirmation from DNA and biometrics tests. Uh, and we know that Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi had, had not been seen in public since 2014 uh, when he made that famous speech and came up on the podium in Mosul and declared that Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant has been formed. Uh, since the fall of ISIL in the last few years, there have been reports about Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, many raids happening against them. There have been multiple uh, rumors about his health, about how he was injured. Uh, but it is very interesting that if this is true, he's been found in an area where a, another group was fighting for control from ISIL and had taken control from ISIL. This is in the Idlib province, uh, where fighters uh, close to Al-Qaeda, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly known as Jabhat al-Nusra, are predominantly located. So it is an unfolding situation where we are getting reports from U.S. officials. Uh, so far, no official confirmation. We're waiting for the U.S. president, hopefully, to make that announcement at 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, Osama, just very quickly, I mean, how significant is all of this, given that uh, President Trump announced over a year ago that the ISIL caliphate had been defeated? Absolutely. So, it, as, you've, as you've seen in previous operations against international groups, uh, the killing of Osama bin Laden took 10 years in the making. We've, we saw years and years before uh, they went in and actually captured Saddam Hussein, who, they, who was wanted for crimes in Iraq. So, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is going to be a significant blow, uh, especially psychologically, to this organization, which has been defeated. Uh, but again, you have to see it in context. This is an organization which fuels from the insurgency which exists in this part of the world, uh, it, it taking its, uh, its recruits uh, from the disenfranchisement, from the poverty, from the lack of opportunities, from the state heavy-handedness, which again exists in many parts, including Iraq and Syria. This is where ISIL found a majority of its recruits from. But it has lost the capability of luring foreign recruits, saying that it had a, a caliphate, a, a state. Uh, th that was something which brought together a lot of radical fighters from all over the world. So it is going to be a major blow to ISIL. But again, the group has been disintegrating for the last few years. Now what is left is, are the deserts of Iraq and Syria, where pockets exist of ISIL. Uh, we've been hearing reports of thousands and thousands of families belonging to ISIL are being held camps in the deserts of uh, Deir Azor as well as some in, in Iraq. Uh, and many international governments have been reluctant to take back the fighters. So there, there are some elements on the ground. ISIL has been defeated. It does not control any territory, but it is capable of carrying out small operations as pockets uh, of um, armed fighters exist in, in, in scattered areas, uh, sparsely populated areas across the Iraq and Syria desert. All right. Uh, Osama bin Javed there at uh, San Lirfa on the Turkey-Syria border. Osama, for the time being, uh, thank you.